life is in the blood and the body of Jesus Christ. John says, Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat of the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have now no life in you. Ooh, this is a very strong statement. Jesus said, Except you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you shall not have life. From that day, the Bible said, many of his disciples depart because they didn't want to eat his blood and drink his flesh. Now, when Jesus speak, a lot of people misconstrue what he says because they're only looking at the physical. For example, when he came the first time, they were expecting him to set up a, a physical kingdom and take over all the rules of the Romans who have been oppressing the Jewish people. But Jesus didn't come to set up a physical kingdom. He came to set up a spiritual kingdom. And that spiritual kingdom is in your heart and in your mind. And when you're looking for a physical kingdom and he's given a spiritual kingdom if your heart and your mind is only on the physical kingdom you're gonna miss the essence of the spiritual kingdom and here he said except you eat the flesh of the son of man people are just looking at the physical part of it it's not physical it's spiritual and this is what he says whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood have eternal life eternal life is not physical eternal life is spiritual whosoever eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood have eternal life i'll raise him up at the last day when you get up at the last day from the resurrection as a result of the trump of god sounding that's not a physical resurrection that's a spiritual resurrection but the physical the spiritual is so powerful that it over engulf and destroys all the laws of the physical so it supersedes that so don't look physical only look for spiritual because when Jesus come to set up the kingdom it's a kingdom that starts in our hearts he that cometh unto me shall never hunger so if you're thinking physical only how many years or how many days can you go without food this is not physical this is spiritual Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh unto me shall never hunger. And he that believeth in me shall never thirst. This is spiritual. Because our soul can only be satisfied with Jesus. And he's the bread of life for our soul.